for years and years during George W. Bush's term, he dictated who the RNC would pick as its chairman. Now, the RNC has some freedom to pick its own chairman. They relish that, they love it, they're gonna do it. They're not gonna pay attention to people from Washington, D.C. So when you're taking a look at the RNC race, don't pay attention to uh, which candidate has uh, endorsements from a congressional delegation or even from the Speaker of the House uh, or from Vice President Dick Cheney or, or anybody like that. Pay attention more to who has the votes uh, of committee members themselves. When there are these large debates in front of groups like Americans for Tax Reform, the Susan B. Anthony List, uh, the, the Daily Call, or anybody like that, uh, any of these sort of standard Washington conservative groups, you're going to hear the candidates talking in sort of the platitudes that they did yesterday, answering the same way uh, over and over and over again, as opposed to really coming out and, and sharing their, their visions and their plans uh, for the RNC. It's how you involve members. It's uh, how you raise money. It's who, which, which major donors you know and have a good relationship with. Uh, it's how you're going to increase transparency and openness within the committee. Uh, so across the board, it's it's not uh, you know who was your favorite president or what was your favorite book. Uh, it's it's really a, a larger question of how are you going to operate this committee. That leads to sort of an implicit rebuke of Michael Steele, and that's what we've seen for the last couple of weeks. Republicans are desperately worried uh, that uh, the failure to have a robust ground game uh, like they did in the 2004 cycle or in the 2000 cycle, uh, the failure to raise the money uh, that it's going to cost to produce that ground game is going to cost them the presidency. If the RNC does not get back on its financial footing, they're going to be at a serious disadvantage when it comes to, uh, to electing a president other than Barack Obama in 2012.